Alright guys, so for this video, today we are going to smoke ribs. We got this wonderful uh, cuisine art smoker. We're going to smoke some food, so I'm up kind of early. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm up kind of early. Got to cure this bad boy, uh, make sure it's ready to go. So curing is basically spraying it down with the... Uh, vegetable oil cooking spray and then putting it on high for about two hours so that's what we're going to do right now uh, and then closer to the end of that we'll let it cool down show you guys some pictures of our setup we'll get this bad boy heated up but I hope you enjoy this video for uh, how to smoke some meat we're going to do ribs and baked potatoes of course, we gotta have some good wood chips. So I'm using uh, these maple wood chips, Western brand, pretty decent. Got them soaking. So I generally like to let them soak for about a half hour to 45 minutes before putting them on. Uh, so there you go, that's the start of the wood chips process. All right, so here's our meat. Got a nice old big slab of ribs. Uh, don't exactly remember how much they weighed. But we're probably going to have to cut them in half this way uh, to fit them onto our smoker. And then, of course, we've got Country Tony's Bonafide Certified Smokehouse Rub. Uh, I should probably do a commercial on this because this is actually something that I made. This is a homemade Tony K Bonafide Certified Smokehouse Rub. Country Tony's. So, yeah, there's our ribs. Giggity. All right, so we got the wood chips in. This bad boy is starting to... Uh, warm up a bit i know that we are indoors i'm gonna move or i'm gonna start warming up here in a minute uh move it out a little bit here get it prepared all right so here we go i got the wood chips in uh she's heating up I'm gonna go rub up some meat and uh yeah we'll put her back in here in a second all right so we got it rubbed up country tony's bona fide smoke gas rub was it bona fide certified smoke gas rub something like that just look at the texture look at the detail peppered a little clumpy there on that second piece that's because there was extra and I just threw it on so uh let's go smoke all right so here we go guys we're gonna go ahead and uh put the meats in so it's nice and hot right on in there and they're just gonna smoke for Probably like four, four and a half, maybe even five hours. And that's it. That is legitimately it. It smells delicious. We'll keep this at about 200 degrees, and I mean, we'll check on it every now and then. But that's that's truly it in terms of getting everything set up. Uh, we'll come back to it, like I said, in a little bit, and we'll just go from there. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, so we are two, two and a half hours into this bad boy. Been keeping it right in the range we want. Let me zoom in here. I know the sun's starting to hit on us now, of course, so make sure you guys get a good view of that in case you're actually trying to pay instructions. Paying attention to the instructions. Sorry. I can't get a zoom. I don't know what's going on here, man. All right, anyways. So at this point, I need to... Learn how to operate a camera. Also checking on these bad boys. You see they're starting to look pretty delicious. I'm going to check the temp of them here in a minute. But I'm actually going to throw in these potatoes. Just olive oil, uh, salt, pepper, and then uh, some garlic powder. So we'll do that now. Well, had to open a beer after that one. Uh, so, no shame in the game because I am learning. Jesus Christ. Okay. Sorry if I'm making you guys a little nauseous here. So, here's what happened. 
first off, I have to get this bad boy up and rolling again because, uh, well, basically, make sure that you put tin foil down for the potatoes. And then uh, you see there's a little bit of grease there that caused a smidge bit of a quick, quick fire. So be careful. All right, so that there, I put this in a moment ago to check the temperature, but that there is some done food. So let me get this out, uh, get inside, I'll get a picture for you guys or whatever, and uh, then I'm gonna stop shooting and eating, start eating.